Hello guys, it's me, Sir Dan Apostol. So, sa video natin ito, uh, pag-aaralan natin on how to divide polynomials using long division. Okay, so first, uh, review muna natin ano ba yung polynomials. So, yung polynomials are algebraic expressions that consist of coefficients and variable. So, example natin dyan ay 2a, that is an example of uh, polynomial, 3x plus 2, and so on and so forth. So, what are the steps in dividing polynomials? So, kailangan lang natin matandaan itong steps na to para mas mapabilis or mas mapadali ang pag-divide natin ng polynomials. First is to arrange the terms of the divisor and dividend in decreasing power. So, kailangan ma-arrange muna natin yung dividend natin and yung ating divisor in decreasing power. So, meaning, pababa yung ating exponent. Number two is to divide the first term of the dividend by the first term of divisor. So, yung leading coefficient ng dividend, i-divide natin sa leading coefficient ng divisor. And number 3, multiply the quotient to the divisor. So, yung quotient na makukuha natin sa step number 2, multiply natin yan sa divisor. And number 4 step, so subtract the product. So, yung product nun, yung sa step number 3, subtract natin yun. Then, kung meron pang mga titirang terms sa dividend natin, bring down lang natin yun. Hanggang sa maubos yun at wala na matira or uh, wala na tayong maibibring down. Okay? So, review lang muna natin on how to divide uh, numbers. So, ito number 1 natin, 154 divided by 2. Kasi ganito yung gagawin nating steps in dividing polynomials. So, divide lang natin to Ang gagawin natin is to arrange it like this. So, yung parang uh, division sign or symbol. So, ang nasa loob natin itong dividend, 154. And itong divisor, nasa labas which is 2. So, ang gagawin lang natin is to divide the first term to the first term of the divisor. Since yung first term natin dito ay 1, hindi siya pwedeng i-divide sa 2. So, gagamit tayo ng, uh, isasama natin yung second term. So, magiging 15 divided by 2. 15 divided by 2, there are 7 2's in 15. So, 7 yan. Then, multiply. So, that 7 times 2, 14. Then, subtract. So, that is 15 minus 14, 1. Then, bring down. So, bring down natin yung 4. Then, again, repeat natin yun. Divide ulit natin. So, 14 ulit. 14 divided by 2. That is 7. So, meron 7 na 2 sa 14. Then, multiply 7 times 2. That is 14. Then, subtract 14 minus 14. That is 0. So, therefore, ang quotient natin ay 77. So, example number 2. 136 divided by 3. So, again, 13 divided by 3 muna. So, merong apat na 3 sa 13. So, multiply naman. 4 times 3, that is 12. Then, subtract. 13 minus 12, 1. Then, bring down 6. Then, divide ulit. 16 divided by 3. Merong 5 na 3 sa 16. Then, multiply. 5 times 3, 15. Then, 16 minus 15, that is 1. So, meron tayo dito ang remainder. 1. So, same process lang siya in dividing uh, numbers. Yung gagawin natin sa division of polynomials. So, let's have this following example. So, number 1. x square minus 3x minus 10 divided by x plus 2. So, ito yung dividend natin. Ito yung 
divisor. So, ganun rin ang gagawin natin. I-arrange lang natin siya. Since naka-arrange naman na to sa decreasing power, yung parehas nating dividend and divisor, uh, isusulat lang natin siya ng ganito. So, dividend sa loob, x square minus 3x minus 10. Then, divisor natin ay sa labas, x plus 2. So, sundin natin yung step. Na-arrange na siya. Naka-arrange na siya. Ang next step is to divide the first term of the dividend sa first term ng ating divisor. So, that is x square divided by x. So, ang magiging sagot natin dyan ay x. So, dito yan. Okay? Then, multiply. So, mumultiply natin yung x sa divisor. x times x, that is x square. Then, x times 2, that is 2x. Then, subtraction. So, since nagsusubtract tayo ng expression, ang gagawin natin dito is, i-change natin yung sign ng subtrahend. So, ito yung magiging minus to. So, x squared minus x squared, that is 0. 0 na yan, so no need to write. Then, itong plus, magiging minus. So, magiging minus to, that is 3x, then magiging plus naman to. So, 3x plus negative 2x, that is negative 5x. Okay? Then, bring down 10. So, bring down negative 10. So, repeat tayo sa ating first step, which is divide. So, divide natin itong negative 5x sa x. So, that is negative 5x divided by x. So, magiging sagot natin ay negative 5. So, lagay natin dito. Then, multiply. So, negative 5 times x, that is negative 5x. Negative 5 times 2, that is negative 10. Then, subtraction ulit. So, again, mag-change tayo ng sign. So, magiging plus to. Magiging plus to. Magiging plus to. So, that is negative 5 plus positive 5. So, 0 na siya. Then, negative 10 plus 10, 0 na rin. So, magiging sagot natin dito ay 0. Therefore, ang ating quotient ay x minus 5. So, ganun lang kadali mag-divide ng polynomials. So, let's have example number 2. So, 2x squared minus 5x minus 1 divided by x minus 3. So, pag ganito siya, naka-fraction siya, meaning rin yan ay division. Kasi ang fraction means uh, division. So, same process, i -re -re rewrite lang natin siya as ganito. So, ito yung division natin. Then, nasa loob yung dividend. Ito yung dividend. Ito yung divisor. So, nasa loob yung 2x square minus 5x minus... 1. Then, sa labas yung divisor, x minus 3. So, same process again. Didivide natin yung first term ng ating dividend sa first term ng divisor. So, that is 2x square divided by x. So, ang sagot natin dyan ay 2x. So, lagay natin siya dito sa tapat ng negative 5x. Then, multiply. So, 2x times x, that is 2x square. Then, 2x times negative 3, that is negative 6x. Then, subtract. So, again, mag-change ng sign. So, magiging negative to, ito ay magiging plus na. Then, ito ay magiging plus. Okay? Positive. So, 2x squared plus negative 2x, that is 0. Negative 5x plus 6x, that is x. Then, bring down negative 1. So, same process. Divide natin yung first term. So, x divided by x. That is 1. So, therefore, that is, uh, lagyan natin dito, plus 1. So, 1, plus, uh, 1 times x, that is x. Then, 1 times negative 3, that is negative 3. Then, subtract natin. So, mag-change ng sign. Magiging uh, plus na to. Magiging positive x plus negative x, 0, 1, 
plus 3, that is 2. Now, meron tayong remainder. So, ang gagawin natin ito, paano natin ilalagay yung remainder? So, ang quotient natin ito. So, magiging sagot natin dyan ay 2x plus 1. Then, para isulat yung remainder, itudugtong lang natin siya sa ating uh, quotient. So, meaning, ito yung ating 2. Ito yung magiging uh, numerator. So, magiging plus 2 over. Then, yung ating denominator ay x minus 3. So, ito yung magiging sagot natin. Pag merong remainder. So, kung, subtra o kung minus naman to or negative naman to magiging minus lang ating yung magiging minus lang tong ating plus. So, I hope natuto tayo sa ating uh, lesson for today on how to divide polynomials. So, kung meron kayong mga tanong, just uh, write down or comment lang sa ating video. Thank you for watching and see you on our next upload. God bless everyone.